for a Kent County deputy who shot and killed a man in November. County prosecutor Chris Becker says the deputy was justified when he used deadly force during a domestic violence call in Caledonia. 911 calls and video recordings were released today. Becker says both helped him make his decision. 13 on your sides, Emma Nicholas joins us now and walks us through it all. Emma? 34-year-old Stephen Saucier had been out drinking with his wife and her friend on a Saturday night. Things started to go downhill around 1 a.m. Three hours later, two Kent County Sheriff's deputies were dispatched to the home. That's where these recordings begin. Stephen, put the gun down. What transpired in these moments came after a series of 911 calls. In one of those calls, a seemingly belligerent Stephen Saucier tells dispatch he has a gun. You got a firearm in your hand? Yeah! You better get the f here! By the time deputies reached Saucier's home, they had been told by dispatch that the homeowner was armed and ready to shoot. Deputy James Davis, the second deputy to approach the home, had a shotgun in hand. This is video from an in-home surveillance camera. Despite his wife's efforts to calm him down, Saucier opens the door, screams at the first deputy, and pushes her to the ground. Deputy Elizabeth Donovan said that Saucier had his gun pointed at her after she fell on her back. At this point, Deputy Davis steps in, yells at Saucier to show his hands, then shoots once, killing him. Deputy Donovan said her life was saved as a result. Prosecutor Becker says the shooting was justified. Um, but I cannot, you know, charge the officer for behaving this way because he's got a split second decision um, to make, you know, I got to save the life of my fellow officer and he made that choice. And I cannot say it was not in a, uh, appropriate to make that choice. Saucier's wife told police she had never seen her husband act this way before and he had no prior criminal record. An autopsy showed Saucier's blood alcohol level was almost three times the legal driving limit. Becker says the gun Saucier was holding was loaded and ready to fire. Nick. Emma, thank you.